What's up everybody, welcome back, we're now on to episode 1 of Game of Thrones, like I say, uh, this is all brand new to me, so we'll just have to see how it goes, um, his, well I forget, even forget what the guy's name is, got killed, he's now got to take this sword back, uh, he's made a promise that he'll get the sword back and get it safe, um, uh, now, let's see, I've got to have a look around and see what's going on, so, let's hop into this. So I've got to go this way. There's nothing that I can see. Pig. Hello, piggy. Blood on the floor. Where's that from? Blood. It's never Christ. a good start. Alright. Dead pig. I'm not about to cut open a pig, am I, and eat it? No. Go this way. Cart. Look at. Let's have a look at the cart. See what's in the cart. See, I'm just, like I say, I'm a complete noob when it comes to the Game of Thrones, so I haven't got the first idea what's going on with it, so that's you need Martha's to car. bear with me. With oh, that's his dad's car. Oh, shit. This isn't good. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Winter may be coming, but at least still have his bacon. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm supposed to do now. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. Nice haircut. <clears throat> Father, oh, I it's said his move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. Fuck it, let's do it. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Oh. Get off my... Land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. No. I'll have that sword, boy. No, you fucking won't. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right, finish this fucking big farmer. Pathetic. Oh, let's do it. Get a pitchfork. Get a pitchfork. Axe you or really pitchfork. You are a pig farmer, huh? <laughs> It's one down. Come on. You're a bit slow, dude. It's one down. Get the sword, get the sword, get the sword. Get the sword. Oh, kill, 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 kill. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, why am I always too slow? Bollocks. Right, we'll start that shit again. Right, here we go. Move. Miss. Run quick, grab the sword, grab the sword, grab the sword. Ah, stab in the leg. Uh, 
he so got rid of him. Dude's coming. <laughs> Mercy, please, I beg of you. I, I have a family. I don't I'm give a shit. You were about to fucking kill me. I have me. no quarrel with you. Die. No, please. Oh. Your white heel will see you hang for this. That much I promise. That's right. Father? Garrett, you survived. Your, your sister. She hid. Oh, no. I tried to stop them. Oh, fucking hell, that's... The, that's a shit day, his dad and his sister. Oh, that fucking sucks. I'll kill the men who did this. Wow, that sucked. Iron Wrath. I think this is where I need to take this. I think this is where I need to take the sword. It's cool, this game's like a painting, it's brilliant. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. Oh. Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. Oh, that's even this fucking worse. With the Stark eight! Power. It's... Unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Ugh. Hold the wound open for me, would you? So this is going to put a load of maggots into the wound now. Nice. Oh, that's minging. These are dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young, and altogether unprepared to lead. I'm thinking this right. is probably one of these types uh, of games where I'm going to have to pay attention to what's going on. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Oh. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. 
to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh, with the maggots crawling around in it, yeah, that's going to be cracking. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Forrester, House of Forrester. Uh, look at the window. The Ironwood Grove. Uh, back down this way, let's see what we've got going on. Anything else that I can look at? The medical supplies, bucket, touch, healing herbs, pick them up. I'll have some of them. This might help. What else have we got on that table that I can pick up? What's this here? Bandages, I'll have some of them. Let's have a look at the bucket. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. I wouldn't say so. In about 10 to 12 hours, they'll all be bloody blue bottles. Uh, right click to back out. Let's have a look. If I wander around, is there anything else that I can hmm. do? You seem to be favouring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Yeah, it seems like I'm walking fine. A bit limpy. Let's show him the sword. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. Don't want to give it to Lord Ethan, but whatever. What's this? Let's have a look at the tapestry. Mm -hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Wow, there's loads of people. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Alright, let's go through these people. Tyler and Ethan. Tyler and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Yep. Young dude in charge. What's, what have we got here? Mira. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Uh, and then we've got Lady Forrester. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. Uh, we've got... Who's that? Ryan? Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born <laughs> son. Uh, and then we've got Lord Forrester and Roderick. Let's look at Roderick first and then Lord Forrester. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Uh, and then Lord, Lord Forrester. Forrester. It was an honour to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Forrester's on the menu codex page. Uh, no, you see there? You're limping again. I'm fine, really. He's destined to try and cut my fucking leg off. Right, let's have a chat to him. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Basically a lot of killings. The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them. Especially now with the Boltons in power and proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Uh, Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Well, we know it's Ethan, of Ethan. course. At the oh. Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. 
Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third-born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Hmm. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. Uh, yeah. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Yeah, but he's Lord Forrester promoted me. Twelve. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. His what? Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Can I go now? Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... So sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Mm, potential for a bit of a love story there, maybe. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. Oh, fuck. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yep. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask... Was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. He mentioned something about the North Grove. The North Grove? What of it? Oh, he said, The North Grove must never be lost. The North Grove. Interesting. I see. You have the Forester sword? Yep. This belongs with Ethan now. He's the new lord of the house. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. He demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Roiland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Ooh. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. We should demand justice. Yep. Aye. Justice on their terms, which means they'll have your head. Justice is taken, not demanded. There's lots of power they struggles going on. What's to be on. done? <sighs> Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Yeah, but he's young. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. 
But no. This. But... I'll accuse you of murder. And us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. It wasn't murder. It was justice. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like oh, to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, you can't send me away. We have no choice, Garrett. Where would you have the boy go? The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not oh, in the eyes fuck. of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Uncle, you can't send me to the wall. I'm not a criminal. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction oh, upon fuck, us all. He's going to get sent to prison now. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I won't put others at risk. I'll go. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. Fuck, so now I'm going to prison. Great. That settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Hmm. All right, we'll leave it there for that one, and we'll drop up me. on his uh, trip over to prison. Thanks for stopping by, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks I a lot. Would. Peace.